Reno Little Theater. 80 years old this year, it's hard to believe. You know, not a lot of people get to see what goes on here, except on show nights, but we do keep pretty busy. After all, we are a community theater, so this is kind of like our second home. We've all got chores to do, little tasks. And our day starts pretty early. Usually it's my job to catch everything up at the front office. We get a lot of calls that come in overnight from people wanting tickets or directions. So it's my job to call them back and tell them to go to the website. <laughs> because that's what it's there for. <laughs> Am I right? But once we settle into the office for the day, that's when I feel really lucky to get to work with such great people. So I am the director of programs and development and as the development officer, that means I raise all of the money here for RLT. And I work with some amazingly kind and generous donors. And in addition to our individual donations, we also have to do a lot of grant writing and I've spent a lot of my adult life studying the art of grant writing because it's an art and a science. And I spent a lot of time working on these grant applications so that they're thoughtful and complex. And so our funders see hundreds and sometimes thousands of, of applications. So it's important that ours stand out. And I gotta say, we do pretty well. Yeah, she is so great. We are so lucky to have her because she's really an expert in her field. And you know, she pays such close attention to all of her duties. I don't have time for that. Which is why I feel so confident about the fact that she takes on such a leadership role with so many of our committees. <laughs> Good episode. <gasps> I was recently able to hire an assistant to help me with the day to day. It's great. He gets a lot of stuff thrown at him. Hey, I know you're busy, but could you sign us? Yeah. So, I've been a personal assistant for Melissa for a while now, and um, I'm just doing this as like a foot in the door kind of thing. Because I, I really want to direct, so I, I've been trying to, you know, like, market myself way up to the top, and hopefully I get to direct a show soon. Is that script that I was uh, going to do to read? Okay, cool. I'll take a look. Thank you. He's a little young, very eager, but he's doing a good job. I think this season has been great, which means we have a lot to live up to for our 81st season, which starts this fall. Play selection's never easy. So we've just finished season selection process, and this was a new process for us, and it's something that we take very seriously because there's a lot of emotions running high with everyone submitting plays and directors wanting to direct. So we have to think not just about the one play we're selecting, but the whole season and how it fits together, weaves together like a tapestry. And when we do that, we're juggling a lot of different things um, in consideration. And so it, it's something that we put a lot of time into and thought. Because you know, it's not just about finding the right scripts. It's about creating a cohesive artistic experience that spans across a whole season, which is why we are so lucky to have such a technical visionary on our staff. Hi, so uh, I'm the technical director here at Reno Little Theater. Uh, that basically means that I'm in charge of all the stuff that goes on on the stage. That could be from designing the set to uh, building it to painting it. I do the lights too, um, hanging them, I would put them on the, in the grid, uh, putting them in the computer, uh, focusing them. They know when to turn on and also turn off, you know, like hanging doors. It could be like prop stuff. I also do the sound too when it turns on as well as when it turns off. Building uh, foam dog food you know, things like that. What he can do with set design, his vision always aligns so closely with mine. So this is where I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. On the stage, it's oh. all crooked. So I think that I want to put a rake sideways uh -huh. on the stage. Okay. You just have yep. to make sure your actors know that they're going to probably sure. fall down. Sure, sure, sure. We a can. lot. Uh -huh. Yeah, we really ask a lot of him. He's just always really incredibly busy. That means I'm usually here you know, a lot, I guess. 
but I don't really mind that because sometimes I just like um, I like just being in a theater. Sometimes I like to be alone with my thoughts in the theater. Um, I mean, it can be quiet, but you know, relaxing. And um, sometimes it's fun to 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 be in there uh, when nobody else is here. Um, I mean, it can be quiet, but it can be fun, too. There is a lot of stuff that goes into making a play. In addition to the sets and the scripts, we've got to worry about costumes, too. So I'm the resident costume designer here, and this is our costume area. And here's some pieces that were made by our lovely volunteers, but, you know, I like to help out where I can. They tell me that a lot of the plays here require period pieces. I'm not quite sure what that means. I, I think it means they want outfits that make a statement, you know, like a period. It's always hard to tell what pieces are going to look like when they're just hanging on a hanger. So usually I have Luke try pieces on before I make any decisions. to be very unique and outside of the box. No, 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 all wrong, no, no. I, I like stuff that's completely unexpected. All right. Okay, oh, oh. Mm. I mean, you gotta imagine, no. like, more boobs, less hair. Uh, no. Mm. I like pieces that when they walk out on stage, the audience is gonna be like, what? <gasps> yeah! Yes! 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 yes. Alright! I'm really attracted to the color orange because orange is very bold and you don't see it very often. I mean, usually you only see it on like traffic cones. Fly! Fly! <gasps> we definitely try to incorporate a lot of different things here at RLT. Have you heard about the children's theater? Did they tell you about the children's theater? You know, we really do try to serve the whole community. In addition to our main stage and secondary series, we also have a children's production that's very successful every year. This year, our children's director chose to do Hamlet. Faith, as actors, who is your, your character? Good. Yeah. I chose uh, Hamlet because well, honestly, if you're going to introduce your kids to theater, you might as well show them the best. You know, I, I'm sure parents are tired of seeing their kids play, you know, rocks or, or trees or you know, silly stuff like that. I am giving these children the tools with which to make their art. I, I'm trying to give them a, a sense of accomplishment. Okay. Good. Now, uh, Laertes, you are supposed to be uh, dead. Remember, we talked about that. So I mean, okay. think about it. This is going to look amazing on their resumes. I mean, a kid playing Hamlet at age three, I, I, they won't even need an agent. You know, directors will just be like, yeah, come on in. You know? Uh, by a show of hands, uh, who, who has seen a dead body? Okay. Two hand, good. Okay, I, I believe it. Good, so we're moving around. I, I think it's great what she's doing. Some have said that they think it's a little unconventional, but I think it's okay if we push the envelope a little bit. I, I think, I think it'll be good. Uh, this is our uh, Ophelia. Uh, she's a little, a little green, you know, no Meryl Streep, but uh, she'll do, she'll do okay. <laughs> And okay, that is something that I don't know what to, I don't, amateur. We try to keep a standard of professionalism. It gets away from us in moments like, like that. Um, you know, I, she's, she's happy right now, but I tried to correct her blocking one time and she, uh, she turned into a real bitch. Yeah, we've lost a few actors, but yeah, uh, that is community theater for you. Yeah, same in Reno as it is in New York City. Believe me, I, I, I know. 
but and not everybody is is ready to tell the bard's greatest tale. But uh, the show must go on, as as Bill used to say. Okay, good snack break. Yeah, let's ha let's have a, a snack. She's she's doing really great things. Bill uh, Shakespeare, William Shakespeare. <laughs> so that's us here at RLT. Just your average community theater organization working hard to do great things. We're really proud of this past season and about the fact that this theatrical institution has been a part of Nevada's history for so long. Here's to another 80 seasons.